a robot named Noel that simulates childbirth was produced by the Florida-based Gumard Scientific Company. The goal of this pregnant robot is to assist doctors in handling issues involving pregnancy. Many hospitals, medical organizations, and educational institutions are currently using this birth simulator robot to help them deal with both routine and unusual birth procedures. Three vulvas and two umbilical clamps are included for postpartum procedure. With his chest rising and falling in time with labor breathing, the Noel training robot doll can imitate a variety of birthing scenarios. She is also capable of saying, the baby is coming, which causes the baby inside to emerge and fall into the waiting hands. Although the Noel robot still needs minor adjustments, it works perfectly for assisting medical professionals in treating pregnant patients. The result of the protracted and challenging labor, this medical simulator system is a pregnant robot employed in an increasing number of medical schools and hospital maternity departments. The device's S560 model generally delivers with four umbilical cords, four dilating cervixes, two umbilical clamps, and three volvi for postpartum procedure, no less. Noel, a life-size robot and her newborn are being used by the Kanyang He University Medical Center in Seoul, the first facility in South Korea, to provide students with practice. Professor Jung Yeong told Reuters Television, with this simulator training tool, we can conduct not only routine deliveries, but also complex deliveries, such as breech birth. With the help of this mannequin, students can rehearse in an extremely realistic setting. Noah frequently draws a crowd of students while she gives birth. They alternate taking turns to keep an eye on her vital signs and excreting the baby from her body. The newborn, who is also a robot, has LAD on its hands and cheeks to tell how it's doing. Blue lights indicate difficulties, while pink lights suggest everything is fine. Noel, according to the students, is more beneficial than taking notes in the classroom. Before treating my first real patient, Stuart Wu Jing Kuang said, I think it's more adventurous to have delivery training on a lifelike mannequin than studying with books or lectures. Professor Jung claimed that because of the constantly declining birth rate in South Korea, her students had less opportunity to observe and participate in childbirth, necessitating Noel's attendance. With an average of 1.08 children per woman, South Korea currently has one of the lowest birth rates in the world, with a population of little over 48 million. Noel was bought from Miami-based Gamard Scientific in the U.S. for the U.S. dollar of $20,000. It was created in 2000, and more than 400 units have been sold here. In an increasing number of medical colleges and hospital maternity departments, a lifelike pregnant robot has been deployed. Noelle was born anywhere from Afghanistan to California and many more places in between. She is a lifelike pregnant robot that is increasingly being used in maternity wards at hospitals and medical colleges. The full-size blonde pale mannequin is in high demand since medicine is swiftly moving away from the time-honored training techniques that use people as test subjects in favor of cutting-edge simulators. Making a mistake on a $20,000 robot is preferable to doing it on a real patient. Up to 98,000 Americans every year are thought to pass away as a result of avoidable medical mistakes, according to the Institute of Medicine, a division of the National Academy of Sciences. Dr. Paul Preston, an anesthesiologist at Kaiser Permanente, the creator of the hospital network's four-year-old pregnancy care training program, in which Noel plays a key part, said, we're trying to engineer out of some of the errors everyone and everywhere that has good training programs we steal shamelessly from. Most of the 30 Kaiser hospitals around the country utilize Noel, a product of Miami-based Gamard Scientific Company Incorporated, and additional hospitals are placing orders. Similar training initiatives are being funded by the Northwest Physician Insurance Company and 22 hospitals in Oregon and Idaho, with the initial rollout of Noel occurring at five of them. She is prone to a number of problems, including cervix dilating, she has the ability to surprise give birth in a couple of minutes after hours of labor that result in a breech baby. In the end, she gives a plastic doll that can switch between a pink glow that's healthy and a lethal blue that indicates an oxygen shortage. When connected to monitors, the baby mannequin is wired to flash vital indicators. The digital mannequin can breathe, urinate, and emit realistic pulse rates. In order to teach paramedics in crisis, several businesses produce lifelike mannequins but Noel seems to be the only cutting-edge pregnant model available. A simple Noel model costs $3,200, while a computerized Noel that most closely simulates a live birth costs $20,000. Preston once remarked, while putting Noel through her paces at Kaiser Permanente Valero Hospital on a cloudy day recently, if she is bleeding, there will be plenty of blood and evidence everywhere. 
The training began with Noelle being attended to by nurses and physicians while she was linked up to normal delivery monitoring machines, along with about 50 other medical professionals who work with pregnant patients. A Gamard engineer was transmitting wireless signals to Noelle while perched in a corner with a laptop. He may cause any kinds of problems with a single keystroke, overriding any pre-programmed instructions. Noelle was examined under the covers by a nurse as her heart rate grew. There was a visible umbilical cord, which is not ideal. The nurse immediately dialed code 777 as more medical staff barged in. They brought Noelle into the operating room, where she gave birth to twins naturally following a frantic 20-minute procedure. The debriefing in a conference room was then required. One nurse lamented, we wheeled her through the hall with her gown open. Another person commented on the hectic site, which included more than 30 individuals crammed into a tiny operating room that was very noisy. And so it continued for another 30 minutes until a second group with Noel was in line. Preston said, the mannequins are cool, but it's just one training to, you know. No one is more knowledgeable about this than Gomard's consultant and midwife from Laguna Beach, Robbie Prepas. Prepas worked on a $1 million Gates Foundation grant in 2004 for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to teach Afghan medical staff about the care of women and children. According to the U.S. State Department, Afghanistan has the second highest infant mortality rate in the world. For medical training at the Seoul Women's Hospital in Kapol, Pripaz and her co-workers transported three different models of Noel, including one that utilized a manual crank to move the mechanical components. The Noel mannequins were useful, but power outages and other technical flaws reduced their efficiency. Nevertheless, Noel is becoming a typical concern in the U.S., according to Prepes. Without endangering actual patients, Prepes added, it's a pretty excellent method to teach people how to take care of patients. One of the cases involving a female robot giving birth to a girl goes as follows. Meet Victoria, who is pregnant and preparing to have an emergency C-section. She blinks, breathes, and bleeds as you do. Victoria is a top-notch patient simulator, and this crisis drill for the anesthesia team is happening at Columbia University. Medical center simulation is a chance for us to educate in an immersive and interactive way. It's really a chance for us to practice without risk to improve patient safety and to experience different roles in a multidisciplinary way. Nurses can be doctors, doctors can be nurses, and novices learn how to manage crisis without worrying about harming the patient. Having a place like this where we can express ourselves and honestly make errors is excellent because we learn from them without hurting anyone is great because sometimes we walk in here and don't know the scenario and it's like a real life issue and it costs roughly $63,000. The Victoria Patient Simulator is the most expensive and technologically sophisticated model produced by Gamard Scientific, a 60-year Miami-based private family-run company that sells over 20,000 patient simulators in the U.S. and abroad each year. Ten years ago, this wireless technology simply didn't exist, therefore we couldn't create something like it. Forbes estimates the company's annual revenues easily top 60 million. Our goal is to keep things as realistic as possible. Victoria has a family of other life-size patient simulators, and electronics are getting smaller and smaller, while materials are getting more and more realistic. When things go well, our adult males do have severed limbs that are actively bleeding, and our pediatric simulators may replicate bee stings things that a parent would typically experience in recording relation to truly premature infants. 